Gucci Raw fam, welcome back to the most epic, crazy channel on YouTube. I'm Franklin, and this, this is Raw Fishing. We all know that over the past couple of years, we started this crazy wormhole of a journey with these massive above ground pools, and we turned them into aquariums. Oh my goodness, guys. Look at all of the beautiful fish. And honestly, Raw Fam, converting these pools from plastic little pools to real aquariums made out of fiberglass was very expensive and time consuming. So that's exactly why I felt that this was a really good opportunity to get a sponsor for the video that honestly just made sense. Today's video is sponsored by Anchor. Obviously, Anchor is the world's most reliable, rechargeable power outlet that is portable and can go anywhere with you. Believe it or not, this charging station is reliable for up to three thousand charges. You can charge iPhones, laptops, smartphones, tablets, cameras, and more raw fam. There was a lot of work that had to go into this backyard and we were out here for hours and hours and hours and before I pitch a product, I always test it. So we've had this thing for a couple months and guys, this thing hasn't let me down. And the cool thing is the portable charging station also comes with a portable light bar right there. It lights up, it's pretty cool. I'm out here working all the time at night so it honestly really helps. This portable charging station even has a power save mode, so if you forget to turn this thing off, for whatever reason, it's going to slow down the battery life, and it's going to last all day, even when you forget to turn it off. And to make it even better, Anchor has given the Raw Fam their own link that will be linked in the description. Guys, they obviously helped out with a huge part of this build. Guys, none of this would be possible without Anchor. So, I'll say it once, I'll say it again. Thanks, Anchor. Now back to the video. You know, these above ground pools right here aren't the best for our situation because, you know, these things aren't that stable. I mean, honestly, if I really wanted to, I, if I had my car keys on me, I could instantly cut a hole with, with, with literally minimal effort. But Raw Fam, I think it's officially time to turn off our real filter systems in the back. All right, Raw Fam, so it's the moment I've been waiting for, my whole family's been waiting for. Three, two, one. We're officially turning off the filter system, everybody. Oh yeah! We got it done, boys. Finally done. Yeah, give me some. All right, guys, it's officially off. This pond is officially under construction, guys. We gotta start moving these fish out of this pond. All right, guys, you guys ready? Yes, sir. All right, so this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna have two nets going along with this uh, this towel. We're gonna get these guys wrapped up. The fish are gonna be inside the blanket. We're gonna go like this. Okay, go like that. Oh, let's go. We're gonna try and film as much as possible, but guys, remember, the fish's safety is our number one priority. Guys, thank you so much for helping. Let's do it. Hopefully no casualties. It's gonna be fun. Probably the platinum red tail first. All right, we got the big one. Look at that, that is absolutely beautiful. Don't go too high with it, beautiful. We'll I think we should keep it just right in here. Yo, there's two of you guys running. No, no, it's, right, it's fine, we'll go like this. All right, come on. Oh, look at him. Beautiful, oh, he's so gorgeous. First fish going into this pond. There we go. Yeah. 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 Woo! Hi, Raw fam. So obviously, my next favorite fish. I think we should take the hybrids because you know I don't want their fins to get all beat up. So be very gentle. Do not. We can't. We can't transport them like that. Okay. All right, Blake. Grab this. Here we go. Whoa. Put it down. Put it down. Okay. Fine. Not going nowhere now. This is how I want to transport them. So. This is good. Their eyes are just like an alligator. They go crazy when they see everything. But the moment they hit darkness, they're KO'd. Come on. Here we go. Feels that water. Don't gotta revive anything. And he's off. I think I wanna get my jaws out because I don't want her to get too stressed out. You guys know when she gets pissed off, it's not good. So you ready, Blakey? This is a giant largemouth bass. This fish right here, will be probably about, I don't know, eight to 13 pounds one day. That's the goal at least. All right, let's take her. 
How big do you think he is right now? He's all seven, dude. He's think just so? missing le length. Yeah. Yeah, because I haven't been able to feed her like crazy because of the filter system. It's a monster. Once they get inside of that biological filter system and I could feed them the way they're supposed to be, whew, it's gonna be 12 plus. Today we're gonna travel through all of Lake Kissimmee. We're gonna try and get a fish from up here. We have a bobber stopper, a tungsten weight. Oh, there's one. Oh my god. Oh my god. We got him. We got him. <laughs> oh my. Dude, the bass is big, bro. All right, guys. So Tyler just went in there. Big old mouth. Oh my goodness, guys. Lake is semi giant, and I think we just caught Jaws. When I caught this fish, she was what, five and a half pounds? Five and a half pounds. My guess is? My guess is five seven. Five seven? What do you? Six one. Six one? Oh, five seven, oh my god, no way. <laughs> That's like cold. Five it. seven. You got a koi and her. No, 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 no. That's See, she wants to, that is her. Jesus. Yeah, the only fish that wants to jump. Oh, she got to jump. Oh! oh. <laughs> that is so cool. All right, Raw fam, so this is Jaws. The one, the only. She's gotta be seven, bro. She's gotta be seven pounds, you think? We are zeroing out the scale. Here we go. Putting her in. Oh, we need a bigger bag. <laughs> oh, no. Look right here, guys. Seven pounds, one ounce large mouth. So I think this is the biggest fish that we've weighed here. I think my last Jaws, the one unfortunately that someone came to my house and literally killed. I believe Jaws was like eight and a half pounds, you think, Dave? Jeez. I think I measured the other day. I think she was close to like 21 inches, but 7.1. Jeez. Wow. Super healthy fish. <laughs> She's always pissed off. We're doing the best of every category. We got a bunch of red tails in here, but we already know that the biggest is always the best. She knows me pretty well. She'll let me kind of mess with her a little bit. But I do not want to break this net. Just set it right on the floor. Go with it, go with it. Set it right there. You're good, Viva, she's good. Big, next to her. And she is? Move your shoulder right 37. 37 inch red tail catfish. I'm gonna see if I can hold her up for a second. Ready? Three, two, one. Okay. Go like that. Go like this. All right, let's go. Hey, this is a big one. Ooh. Nice and cool water, baby. Nice and cool. She's just gonna go right down to the beat. All right, guys, we got a lot going on here, so um, get ready for the next part. We're gonna be taking this down. We got we got a bunch of stuff happening, so I'll see you guys when this pond is pretty much empty. What the heck did you do, Franklin? Oh, my bad, Raw fam. From this scene to the last one, we we had to lift this big thing up. Look at this, this is a massive liner, so we're not gonna have to deal with this like plastic little crappy liner anymore. There's been so much water in and out of this, that algae oh, is growing. It's like a blanket almost. Ugh, icky, nasty, ugh, ugh. algae. That's gross. All right, Raw fam, so the moment we've all been waiting for, as you guys can see, if you guys look way over there, um, we just got that whole concrete structure beautifully cleaned out. There's no more algae, it's not nasty. We gotta get this pool in. It's gonna go directly in the back. gonna go we're gonna move it to where this is like the moon we're gonna have to also uh, cut this fiberglass right here oh. really sick all right raw fam so as you can see the first half of the fiberglass pool is in place that's very exciting that's very big for us everybody we're gonna just try and pull it this way Go 
quick, yeah. That was the smoothest any of these have gone in. Woo. All right, hey, that's a dub in my book for all fam. That's amazing. We got the viewing panels right here. We gotta put this bad boy together. So if you guys haven't already, like the video. This is awesome. I'm honestly whew, so excited. Hey, everybody, thank you guys so much for helping out. The viewing panels and everything are in, and now it's time to fiberglass and put everything together. Let's do this thing. Let's do it. Fam, so it's finally time. As you guys can see, we're finally inside of the beautiful fiberglass pools. We got the viewing panels right here. Hey, go down, go down, go down. Bye. <laughs> That's so much fun. But um, as you can see, we're measuring out um, basically this whole fiberglass pool. Most of the time, these fiberglass pools come with an edging kind of like this one. You see this edging right here? Okay, this edging is gonna get bolted together. Most of these fiberglass pools have the edging all the way down, all the way over there. We honestly don't have that. I cut it off, I had them, when it got out of the factory, cut it right off because I already have this concrete molds already there and uh, that wouldn't be good. I don't really feel like backfilling with gravel and making it level, it's just kind of a pain in the butt. So what we're doing, as you can see, we have these little panels right here and we're putting them right on the crease, drilling them in, so then the pools don't fluctuate when we put the bondo on. Here you go. All right, and now we have to bondo this whole thing together, then we're going to uh, you know, let it dry, we gotta sand it tomorrow, and then we're fiberglass. And so, let's do it. I'll show you how we're doing it. See how much it is? Yeah, but that's a good seal right there. So as you guys can see, this is the Bondo resin that we are actually applying, okay? And it's just going to fill it in. As you guys can see, it's just a little bit of like a filler. Then we're gonna add the fiberglass over it and all that is gonna do is be there so then the resin can't go through it and it's just going to make sure everything is nice and perfect. All right, Raw fam, so it is the next day. It's actually the fiberglass process time, I guess, right? So we're actually gonna be fiberglassing these two sides together. You guys saw a little bit of the Bondo process. Guys, some of this footage will be from this side and this side. It's really hard. I'm kind of by myself filming all this, so if you guys see a little bit of difference, it's from filming both. We're kind of just squeezing it together, but as you can see, the process starts right now. So let's mix the resin and get to it. Here is the resin. We gotta bring this over here. 20 ounces at a time, okay? Perfect. Slow down. So as you guys can see, if you guys look right over here, this fiberglass job is pretty much done. It looks honestly very, very, very professional. We did a very good job. This is actually how they seam boats together. So we gotta clean up a little bit of the mess and tomorrow we gotta add the last little bit of resin, but the resin is actually gonna be the color of the pool. So it's gonna be a blue resin and that will be the last little bit of hardener resin mixture and uh, this whole thing will be perfect. All right, Raw fam, so as you guys can see, finally done. Come here. The seam just got its last coat of resin. 
it's a, it's a blue resin, a baby sky blue. Looks really good. We're gonna back up a little bit. Look right through here. Cool. And I just got wet. So we're uh, christening the pond and uh, let her fly. There you go. This is you. So it's all wonderful. Hell yeah. So there you go, Raw Fam. This is the next step to everything. This is like, yeah, no, like this is this is sad. So or this is like, ugh. so this is the last year basically of my life. Started with him. Uh, learning the whole biology portion of all this. Um, we had a lot of animals in and out, you know, we we're, we we're trying to work through all the tweaks, learned everything, started salting, started using medication, start doing it the right way. Then, as you can see right here, this is the filter running for pretty much kind of like the first time. He just put the hose in there, but uh, everything's about to get plumbed in, ready to rock, but it holds water. Let me see this. Shoot some water in. Uh-oh, there it goes. Oh, it's in the pond. That's sick. Well, it's been a couple hours, and I bet these guys are hungry, and we got some new pets, and I haven't even seen them eat, so. Ah, here we go. Oh, what am I? Oh, shoot! Yes! Told you it's bigger. Yes! It's a little oh. bigger. Yeah, Blake, hop in the pond. I got you. He's good, don't take him out again. He's good. There you go. There you go. So a few months after setting up all of the ponds, we realized that we started having a couple issues that were pretty serious. Look, 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 Jaws is coming, Jaws is coming. Jaws, you want it, buddy? Oh! 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 We quickly realized that the filter systems that we had set up were no match for the harsh environments of Florida. It's Obviously, having a almost 5,000 gallon pond, there's so much surface area for algae to grow on. Algae is obviously created by the sun, so there really wasn't much we could do other than keep the water very, very low and just try and do as many water changes as possible. All right guys, so we're still kicking butt here over at the Raw Fam. We're actually slowly but surely just uh, really digging a big old hole right here. We get so that Greg, camera. explain, because no one's been here to explain anything. Yeah. So oh, okay. I would love for you to explain everything. Right now we're measuring this. We're gonna put a liner in here on top of all these aqua blocks and it's gonna be an upflow biological filter. So think under gravel filter, but instead of pulling the um, water down, it's gonna push it through it. Water's gonna be about this deep right here. So all of that um, below there, that's just all your filtration system. So of course guys, we found the answer that we were looking for. It was actually a wetland style filter system. But what the heck's a wetland? A wetland filter, AKA a biological filter system that's using biology to filter the water. Long story short, you have a bunch of different sizes of gravel that allows the ammonia to percolate only so far into the rocks. Then the beneficial bacteria collects that ammonia and they start eating it, turning it into nitrites, then into nitrates, and then the plants absorb the rest. AKA, this thing is producing as much nitrates as possible, and that is yummy, yummy, yummy plant food for the plants. And the best part about it is, my fish are so nasty that they create so much ammonia, and then it just lets the nitrogen cycle kick in in full effect. So these plants behind me are gonna be massive. But hold on, these things weren't always here. Let's go back to when we planted them. That right there will be a plant afro in T minus two days. All right guys, so as you guys can see, it's coming together. This is the biological filter system. We got a bunch of different plants ranging from, oh my gosh. Oh my, I, I, guys, come help. Oh my God, there's three of them. Oh my gosh, so these are pond apples, obviously. Huge, look at them. Oh my gosh. Hey, I told you guys, we're doing it the right way. I promised that, oh my. Oh. <laughs> okay, I gotta help him. Ready? Oh, you oh, yeah. Okay, wow. 
guys, this is going to be the most insane filter system. I will say on YouTube, this is pretty freaking ridiculous. This is, we're just kicking everybody's butt nowadays. We learned the science and now it's paying off. Here we go. We're finally cutting open the pots. We have so much cool stuff going on. We got our dwarf papyrus. We have our pond apples. That's what he's doing right there. He's cutting that open. We have a bunch of different cultivars of plants. We have some more pond apples. They're so tall. I'm on a ladder and they're literally still taller. Um, but as you guys can see, everything's coming together. It looks really freaking good. And I don't know if you guys can see, but oh my goodness, guys, look, the viewing panel doesn't leak. It looks freaking amazing. And whenever there's fish in there, it's going to look so good. And guys, I hope you guys are so excited like I am. All right, guys, so take a good look. Everything's getting planted. It looks really freaking good. This is what it looks like. I want to surprise you guys with the finished results. You ready?